Hello and welcome to Better Body Movement. This class is designed to help you start feeling well. I have less pain, truly, literally eliminate that pain. I just feel better. I can tell that my posture is changing. Bright light in the day when we've done our workouts online. Makes me feel so good about myself. For the foot, we're going to be looking at four different layers of muscle tissue. We'll begin with the most superficial ones. This initial layer is where we will focus first, with the bulk of our work being done on the flexor digitorum brevis. On the inside of the foot near the arch and heel is the abductor hallucis, and on the outside near the heel, the abductor digiti minimi. The second layer is made up of the quadratus plantae and the lumbricals. The lumbricals are intertwined with the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus. The third layer of muscle tissue is important when concerning pain at the ball of the foot. Here, the focus is on the flexor hallucis brevis, flexor digiti minimi brevis, adductor hallucis, the oblique head, and the transverse head. We're going to begin our work with a lacrosse ball right next to the wall. Place your foot beside the wall and start with the lacrosse ball near the front of the foot or the ball of the foot. Slowly press your foot over the ball, moving the ball towards the heel. Once you reach the heel, continue your pressure directly into the tissue connecting to the heel. As you stand still with pressure, pull the toes up, then flex them down into the floor. Continue this process for two to three rounds then proceed to work on the ball of the foot, stopping incrementally to flex the toes and relax. This process should take anywhere from two to three minutes to work your way all the way back to the heel, stretching the fascia on the bottom of the foot. Be sure to use firm pressure as you flex the toes and pull them up. Be sure to breathe and relax as you work the ball towards the heel. Next, we're going to use a bouncy ball near the ball of the foot, in the arch, and near the heel. The point of this is to push with even pressure into the floor, allowing your foot to collapse or fold over the ball for 20 to 30 seconds. Then, lift your foot, move the ball to a new area, and begin to stand again with even pressure on both feet. Even pressure means do not lean away from the pressure, but keep the pressure on both feet for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat this process six to seven times all over your left and then right foot. You can work from the ball of the foot all the way towards the heel. Remember to relax and stand evenly on the ball. The final layer of muscle tissue is between the metatarsals, called the plantar interosseae. These are small muscles, but powerful for squeezing the foot tight. Work each finger between each toe until you have reached the webbing. It may take you some time to get to this point because it is an extreme stretch. Regardless of how deep you get your fingers into your toes, create a squeeze on the ball of the foot, creating separation of the metatarsals. Begin to move the foot back and forth, creating a big stretch. You will continue this anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. Using the fingertips, we will begin working the top of the foot. Bend the toes up, and press your fingers between the toes up the foot toward the ankle. 
This will create greater relaxation of the muscles that hold the toes together. Repeat this process six to seven times, then return to the pivoting motion back and forth on the ball of the foot. For the foot, we're going to be looking at four different layers of muscle tissue. We'll begin with the most superficial ones. This initial layer is where we will focus first, with the bulk of our work being done on the flexor digitorum brevis. On the inside of the foot near the arch and heel is the abductor hallucis, and on the outside near the heel, the abductor digiti minimi. The second layer is made up of the quadrilateral and the lumbricals. The lumbricals are intertwined with the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus. The third layer of muscle tissue is important when concerning pain at the ball of the foot. Here, the focus is on the flexor hallucis brevis, flexor digiti minimi brevis, adductor hallucis, the oblique head, and the transverse head. We're going to begin our work with a lacrosse ball right next to the wall. Place your foot beside the wall and start with the lacrosse ball near the front of the foot or the ball of the foot. Slowly press your foot over the ball, moving the ball towards the heel. Once you reach the heel, continue your pressure directly into the tissue connecting to the heel. As you stand still with pressure, pull the toes up, then flex them down into the floor. Continue this process for two to three rounds then proceed to work on the ball of the foot, stopping incrementally to flex the toes and relax. This process should take anywhere from two to three minutes to work your way all the way back to the heel, stretching the fascia on the bottom of the foot. Be sure to use firm pressure as you flex the toes and pull them up. Be sure to breathe and relax as you work the ball towards the heel. Next, we're going to use a bouncy ball near the ball of the foot, in the arch, and near the heel. The point of this is to push with even pressure into the floor, allowing your foot to collapse or fold over the ball for 20 to 30 seconds. Then, lift your foot, move the ball to a new area, and begin to stand again with even pressure on both feet. Even pressure means do not lean away from the pressure, but keep the pressure on both feet for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat this process six to seven times all over your left and then right foot. You can work from the ball of the foot all the way towards the heel. Remember to relax and stand evenly on the ball. The final layer of muscle tissue is between the metatarsals called the plantar interosseae. These are small muscles, but powerful for squeezing the foot tight. Work each finger between each toe until you have reached the webbing. It may take you some time to get to this point because it is an extreme stretch. Regardless of how deep you get your fingers into your toes, create a squeeze on the ball of the foot, creating separation of the metatarsals. Begin to move the foot back and forth, creating a big stretch. You will continue this anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds.
Using the fingertips, we will begin working the top of the foot. Bend the toes up and press your fingers between the toes up the foot toward the ankle. This will create greater relaxation of the muscles that hold the toes together. Repeat this process six to seven times, then return to the pivoting motion back and forth on the ball of the foot. For the foot, we're going to be looking at four different layers of muscle tissue. We'll begin with the most superficial ones. This initial layer is where we will focus first, with the bulk of our work being done on the flexor digitorum brevis. On the inside of the foot near the arch and heel is the abductor hallucis, and on the outside near the heel, the abductor digiti minimi. The second layer is made up of the quadratus plantae and the lumbricals. The lumbricals are intertwined with the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus. The third layer of muscle tissue is important. All right, uh, so we are pretty well ready to go. So I am excited you're here, Carol. Good to see you in the class online. That's really fun. Uh, for anyone who does join, maybe you haven't uh, done this yet, please do hit the subscribe button just down below. It should be red. If it's not red and it's gray, you probably have already hit the button, which we thank you. Uh, our ID dedicates are pretty much running the same. Uh, Lori and Ethan continuing to pray for them. My friend's wife uh, praying healing over her. Uh, Sky Toyn continuing to pray for a recovery on her end. Uh, it's been really miraculous to watch her uh, get better and better and better. So uh, strength is returning, her appetite's returning. So all of that is thumbs up right now. Uh, and then continue to pray for Kira with her uh, hysterectomy surgery after her lymphatic surgery. So continuing to pray healing over her as well. Our verse of the day, we're back into uh, the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Let's go ahead and jump into our workout. Remember, these are the tools that you need to get started if you follow any one of these particular segments, whether it's the intermediate, beginner, or advanced, make sure you have the tools necessary. And again, you can jump between them, right? So maybe you want to do an intermediate uh, exercise and you want to do a beginner exercise for a different one. Uh, you can switch and jump in between them. It's not you know, do one or the other. It's do whatever exercise works for you. Okay, today is a total body day. So that means everything's going to get moving. So this first part, we're just going to connect the brain to our muscle tissue. Feel what's going on. Where are your shoulders at? How are we contracting our core? Can we get our butt cheeks starting to fire? Right? Big movements through, working through positional That's better. All right. Good marches. So my in-laws lost their boat in the storm. Yep, in the lift. That's all mangled. Really? Yeah. So the pontoon, every side panel is dented, bent in. So they got a quote and then they turn it into insurance. But it's looking like they may end up with. Yeah. Yep. So they're right at the dock launch. 
our boat launch. Our boat ramp right there at the bottom of the hill. So, yeah, they, the wind must have just came cutting across there perfect. And it just I mean, it wow. kind of lifted the boat up and moved it completely off the, off the lift. And so they're going through that process of trying to figure out what they're going to do with it. But my father-in-law's like, I'd really like to just buy it back for super cheap because the pontoons are still good. <laughs> he goes, to my, to, my, to my dismay, for the six times you take it out, when that's worried about looks now. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's funny. All right, good leg swings. Remember, if you have low back issues, we don't want the hips to pivot and create a grinding motion on your vertebrae, right? So continue to hold that tight and just do a nice little lubrication of that joint. That's all we're working on is getting the synovial fluid into your joints. But again, also working on your brain, connecting to your movement to make sure that it's working the way that it's supposed to be working. I know they went off in Garter. Okay. Well, they said there was a tunnel cloud somewhere by I think. Yes, it would have been south. Uh, our neighbor was working at Taco John's that night. He said they they all went out back and we just saw a big cloud just circling overhead. So, yeah, that was quite the story. Three, Three two, two, one. Five, Get ready for row squats. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, just crazy power. It, huh? It's like... All right, get set up there. and ready. Really, just right. Uh-huh. Couldn't tell the Three, difference between the sky and two, the trees, probably. One. Row crazy. squats. All right, row squats. So remember, as we get going here, again, reconnect shoulder blades behind the ears, right? Pinching that bra strap nice and tight. And then... As we go through that squat motion or in the seat, you're squeezing your butt cheeks together, right? So take and hold your penny in That's there. That's halfway. Flatten yeah. that guy between the butt cheeks. Don't worry, it's a penny. That's the only reason it's copper brownish. <laughs> it's not a flattened dime that's changed colors. Don't be in between too many butt cheeks. Right, tight squeeze. That's what we want to focus on. Transition to chest press lunge. So a big part of this is those primary stabilizers doing the job they're supposed to, right? So your butt constantly is creating tension, trying to create a Three, squeeze for hip extension. Two, one, chest press lunge. Your core is tight, just like core day, right? Create compression to absorb the belly whack. And then our pressure forward, right? Popping the beach ball, shoulders still down, and back. We don't want to be in a position here where we roll our shoulders forward, trying to squeeze. Right? We still want the chest up between That's the arms, hard. and then squeeze to your center. Right? Pop that beach ball with your chest. Good, tight squeeze. Brace and stabilize through the movement. Okay, very Three, good. Two. One, transition to hammer curl, good mornings. Okay, hammer curls with your good morning. So then your hammer curls, right, we're focused on keeping the shoulders down and back. Three, but your good mornings, your two, butt's traveling one. horizontally. Hammer curl, good mornings. Right, so if we look at positional, right, I want to be driving my butt behind me with a nice flat back. So shoulders still stay in position, stand up and curl. Right? Forcing those muscles to get tight. If you don't have a band or uh, hand weights, you can also press against yourself and then just switch That's your top way. hand at the halfway. Right? So just rotate over onto the other side, but we can still work through that. Right? Again. Or compress nice Three, and tight. We're trying to stabilize two, that spot. One. Transition Good. to step up overhead press. 
Okay, good. Step up, overhead presses. Make sure you can compress your core and squeeze your butt cheeks tight, especially the leg you're standing on. You Three, should be two, holding that one. butt cheek, Step up, knee, overhead press. all of that really tight. You can even think like on leg day when we do VMOs and straighten that leg out, you're kind of doing that here as well, right? Do it again. So always make sure you're really centered on that block. That's halfway. Very good. Core compressed, core compressed, tight, tight squeeze doing your absolute best all the way through the movement. Contract, control. Three, doing two, your best. one. Transition to tricep press down, step back, lunge. Good. Tricep press down, step back, lunge. Three, As you do your step two, back. One. Tricep Stay press tall. down, step back, lunge. Squeeze tight, firm contraction. Again, shoulder blades are staying down and back. Again, compress that core. That's halfway. Very good. Awesome work. Again, core, 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 and squeeze those butt cheeks. Right, we have to continue to tell ourselves each time. Shoulders, core, cheeks. Three, Shoulders, core, two, cheeks. One. Transition to hamstring curl, pull apart. If it's easier, the three Bs, butt, belly, bra, strap. Absolute three, best. Two. One. Absolute hamstring best. curl, pull apart. Hamstring curls, pull those heels hard, hard, hard. Drive them into that foam roller. Sit nice and tall, core compressed, shoulder blades down and back. That's halfway. Your absolute best. Three, two, one. Long rest. Very good. Oh boy. There we go. All right, so round one is complete. Round two, I want you to be focused again on creating all those connections, but if you felt like you had really good uh, neural connection, stuff inspiring the way it should, you can increase the amount of repetitions that you do uh, you can increase your strength training by increasing the resistance, or you can put the two together uh, and create more of like a uh, calorie burn, right? So more repetitions, more strength. Uh, the more muscle tissue you fire, the more your body burns, the more energy you consume Three, because two, muscle tissue consumes one. energy. Get ready for low squats. Right? Like powerful engines, right? Consume more fuel. Well, I'm Three, such a powerful two, engine. You one, are, Marsha. Squats. You're a power engine, you. you. Must be a V8. <laughs> yeah. Juicing is very good for you. That's for sure. That's halfway. It's like my mom. She's got all that. They do keepers. 100 foot of tomatoes. And just piles and piles and piles. Three, two, all sorts of one. Things. Transition to chest press lunge. I bought some at the farmer's market. Okay. Actually, on the weekend, you'll see my mom sit Three, in front of two, the salon here. One. She'll sell Chest stuff out of her garden. Oh, okay. 
All right, chest press lunge. Again, tall, tight, going through the three Bs, right? Butt, cheeks are tight, belly, squeezing for the belly whack, and bra strap. Squeeze like you're trying to unclip that bra strap. And shoulders way down, pulling tight right. as you create your push. It's a very difficult concept because as you push, you want to roll the shoulders forward usually. But we're trying to stay in a stable scapular environment. And we don't want to fall or round forward. Okay, very good. Three, Doing your best two, all the way through. One. Transition to hammer curl. Good mornings. Good mornings. Butt to the wall behind you. Compress and hold your back the whole time, right? Three. Four tight. Two, four tight. One. Hammer curl. Good mornings. Good hammer curls. Okay. You want to make sure that your arms are working hard, right? So your compression, if you don't have a band, you're pulling up, okay? So my opposite arm right. would be pushing down. The other one is pulling up. And if I want to do the hammer curl and change the position of the bicep head here, right? That's what changes. It's this muscle tissue right here. It gets longer or shorter based on wrist position. So that's all we're working on, right? Three, two, Very one. good. Transition to step up overhead press. Good job. Okay, step up overhead press. Carol, let me know how far you get today because I know Three, we're working on that two, endurance as we one. continue to keep moving. Step up overhead press. Again, good step up overhead presses focused through Butt squeeze, belly whack, bra pinched. Look at that, I'm trying to shorten it up. Make it easier to remember. <laughs> that's halfway. But if we break like down- keep us entertained. That's, <laughs> that's a part of it. <laughs> Let's stay entertained a little bit. So again, pinch the penny between the butt cheeks even as you stabilize, right? As we press up, use steps, uh, pressing through hip extension, Three, you need to squeeze two, your butt cheeks one. down. Transition to tricep press down, step back lunge. Good. Tricep press down, step back lunge. Again, if you need to stay in one position for your lunges, stay there, that's fine. And then continue Three, to work through, two, sit, one. staying tall. Tricep press down, step back lunge can be easy on this one to really round forward as you try to push up. Hello, Noelle. I keep referencing Carol, but Noelle is also working out. So that is a pretty cool deal. We love having you here, Noelle. That's halfway. I love seeing multiple generations online. Look at that. Very, very good work. Again, stay tall, stay tall. Don't fall over, right? There's no leaning over onto your front knee. Force those legs to work. Three, two, one. Awesome. Transition to hamstring curl pull apart. Very good. Hamstring curl pull apart. So again, get. Uh, I don't think that was you. Three. I think it was two, the uh, bands. One. Hamstring curl pull apart. I've noticed the longer the bands stay on the pole, the more it must just be humidity goes in between the band and the pole, and then it pulls that paint off. Very well done. Very, very good, ladies. Stay up tall, even in this one, right? So whether you're on the floor That's doing this or way. sitting in a chair, you still want that good, tall posture, shoulders, down and back, okay. Pressing firm, 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 Do the door, absolute best. Pull those heels hard, hard, hard. Drive those into the foam roller. Three, Carol, two, I know that's gotta be one. tough. Long rest. Very good job. Halfway, we're moving quick today. Moving quick. Okay, so the next round, Again, same thing, think about all of your postural positioning, right? Butt squeeze, belly whack, bra 
clip, right, bra strap, continue to squeeze those tight, and then work through how much can you do holding each one of those things, right? Can you get more repetitions? Can you pull more resistance? What are you capable of? Challenge your capacity. Challenge brings change. That's our official halfway point Three, for the two, day. One. Get ready for row squats. Ready for those row squats again, setting Three, up, two, getting yourself into one, position. Row squats. Carol, you are so very welcome. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. Hope to see you Monday for our core day. That'll be great. Very, very good. And for anyone else joining, that's a really good um, thing for you to know too. Right? We're not here way. to force you to do every single round, to do every single exercise. We're here to encourage you to try to exceed what you did yesterday, right? If you only do one round today, tomorrow, try a round plus one, right? Whatever your goal is, we have to get there slowly and consistently over Three, a long period of time. Two, uh, one. Transition our, to chest press lunge. Our consumerist nature is I want it now. Right? So I want all the benefits of exercise now. And that's just not the way it works. It takes time to build in, Three, to recreate, two, to change one. the way your body works. Chest press lunge. So consistency over a long period of time is what creates change. Very good. Again, core compressed, stay nice and tall. Squeeze through. Doing your That's absolute way. best. Compress that core. Again, tall and tight. Under control. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, awesome work. One. Awesome Transition work. to hammer curl. Good mornings. All right, hammer curl. Good mornings. Remember, your butt should be traveling horizontally. We're not thinking chest or hands to the floor. Three, right? two, Stay one. tall. Hammer curl, good mornings. Awesome work. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition to step up overhead press. Three, two, one. Step up overhead press. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Transition to tricep press down step back lunge. Three, two, one. Tricep press down step back lunge.
some work. Good job, ladies. That's halfway. Again, if you need to stay stationary, stay stationary. That's fine. But compress that core shoulders down and back. Very good work. Absolutely love it. Three, two, one. Good. Transition to hamstring curl pull apart. All right. Last one this round, hamstring curl pull aparts. Remember, sit tall. Okay, ladies? Think string Three, pulling you up tall. Two, Spine one. is nice and straight. Hamstring curl pull apart. So shoulder blades, again, are down and back. Okay. Stay nice and tall all the way through. Compress. Core tight, squeeze hard. Hard, hard, hard. Do your best all the way through. Okay. If you're using a foam roller to pull your heels into, drive them hard. On the ground, you're thinking bend your knees. Right? We're trying to bend the knees and pull those heels towards the butt just as much as you possibly can. Holding firm all the way through. Three, two, one. Awesome work. Long rest. Very good. See, that simple. Three rounds down, one to go. And yes, I said simple, not easy. <laughs> Big difference between those two. Kind of like my massage work. Difference between being nice and kind. I'm not very nice, but it sure is kind. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, as we get set for round four, remember, go through, run that checklist. Is my butt tight? My belly ready for the belly whack? Bra strap is being pinched by the shoulder blades, right? Pull down and back. Nice and firm. Three, Do your best. Two, all the way one. through. Get ready for row squats. Here we go. Row squats. Set in place. Ready to go. Three, two, one. Row squats. Core compress, stay tall. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Remember each part of your movement. Right? We're trying to integrate all of this into what we would do throughout the day, right? Going from chair to standing up, that's a squat. Right? Every time we sit down and stand up, that's how do we way. use our butt cheeks? How do we use our core? Can we brace ourselves throughout each one of these movements, right? Good compression, tight, tight, tight. Very good. Three, two, Awesome one. work, ladies. Transition to chest press lunge. Good, chest press. Three, two, Good one. Compression. Chest press, press lunge. Press tight. Stay tall. Remember, if with the lunge it's difficult on that movement forward, you can stay stationary and just switch halfway. Again, stay tall. Squeeze tight. That's halfway. Very good. Halfway through. Press. Again, reset. Butt belly bra strap. Get each one tight. All the way through. Do your best. Okay. Three, two, good, good, good. one. Transition to hammer curl good mornings. Awesome. Hammer curl good mornings. Remember, butt travels backwards on this one. Do not okay. think chest, head, or hands okay. to the ground. Stay tall and tight. Three, two, one. Hammer curl, good mornings. Very good. Again, pinch the bra strap. Hold that bra strap tight. Shoulder blades way down back the whole way through. Right? Not rounding yeah. forward as you reach or push your butt backwards. Yeah. Hold tight. That's halfway. For most, you could actually exaggerate this and really think, pull your chest up and hold tight through the movement, okay? 
the most because we stay in a forward rounded posture, our chairs push us forward, our jobs in front of computers, Three, phones, and two, tablets. One. So we want to fight to against step up that. Overhead press. Okay, step up overhead press. And this is where we should see one of the biggest changes if we start to really focus on how our shoulders Three, are state, uh, two, set. One. Step okay. up overhead press. Because even with, even with healthy shoulders, right? If I simply roll my arms forward, or shoulders forward, kind of into that typical or common posture, I lose range of motion. I can't lift my arms up because there's a bony impingement. Right? So if I pull my shoulder blades That's down and back, okay. it automatically it opens up the range of motion. Hence, we work so hard on providing you with scapular stability in order to increase shoulder mobility. It seems almost counterintuitive, but we train the shoulders down and back to make it so they can move easier. Three, right? That's two, just bony anatomy. One. Transition to tricep press down step back lunge. Good. Tricep press down step back lunge. You're almost there. Do your best all the way through. Make sure you stay tall. Three, Do not two, fall forward one. on these. Tricep press down step back lunge. Good tricep press downs. Again, stay tall and tight. Tall and tight. Squeeze firm. Press, compress, compress. Your best. All the way through. Yeah, just let me know. But I think I have to write about all That's halfway. Awesome work. And squeeze tight. Firm compression. All the way through. Doing great. And then according to that four one shape. Three. Two. Awesome. One. Transition to hamstring curl pull at parts. Very good. Okay, hamstring curl. Pull apart. Remember to sit tall through this work. Okay. I don't want you to think. Roll forward. So if we're doing uh, external rotations with a small band, a big part of that is trying to set this into position and then create your external rotation. Okay. Same thing with the pull apart. If you're going straight arms, we don't want the shoulders up in the ears. Okay. Pull those shoulders down. Good. Okay, tight squeeze. That's okay, halfway. elbows into the ribs if you're externally rotating. Okay, pull back. Okay, because I want the focus of your pull to be shoulders setting in place. Shoulders setting in place. Kind of automatically makes things change and pull Three, back two, behind you. One. Way to be awesome. rock stars. A very, very good work. Uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Remember, if you have not yet, please do subscribe down below. It makes a really big difference in how we are able to operate our channel here. Also, if you enjoyed the workout, please give it a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate that. As always, if you have comments or questions, please leave those in the comment section below. I try to get back to each one of them and to help you move well so you live well. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. For the foot, we're going to be looking at four different layers of muscle tissue. We'll begin with the most superficial ones. This initial layer is where we will focus first, with the bulk of our work being done on the flexor digitorum brevis. On the inside of the foot near the arch and heel is the abductor hallucis, and on the outside near the heel, the abductor digiti minimi. The second layer is made up of the quadratus plantae and the lumbricals. The lumbricals are intertwined with the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus. The third layer of muscle tissue is important when concerning pain at the ball of the foot. Here, the focus is on the flexor hallucis brevis, flexor digiti minimi brevis, adductor hallucis, the oblique head, and the transverse head. We're going to begin our work with a lacrosse ball right next to the wall. Place your foot beside the wall and start with the lacrosse ball near the front of the foot or the ball of the foot. Slowly press your foot over the ball, moving the ball towards the heel. Once you reach the heel, 
continue your pressure directly into the tissue connecting to the heel. As you stand still with pressure, pull the toes up, then flex them down into the floor. Continue this process for two to three rounds, then proceed to work on the ball of the foot, stopping incrementally to flex the toes and relax. This process should take anywhere from two to three minutes to work your way all the way back to the heel, stretching the fascia on the bottom of the foot. Be sure to use firm pressure as you flex the toes and pull them up. Be sure to breathe and relax as you work the ball towards the heel. Next, we're going to use a bouncy ball near the ball of the foot, in the arch, and near the heel. The point of this is to push with even pressure into the floor, allowing your foot to collapse or fold over the ball for 20 to 30 seconds. Then, lift your foot, move the ball to a new area, and begin to stand again with even pressure on both feet. Even pressure means do not lean away from the pressure, but keep the pressure on both feet for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat this process six to seven times all over your left and then right foot. You can work from the ball of the foot all the way towards the heel. Remember to relax and stand evenly on the ball. The final layer of muscle tissue is between the metatarsals called the plantar interosseae. These are small muscles, but powerful for squeezing the foot tight. Work each finger between each toe until you have reached the webbing. It may take you some time to get to this point because it is an extreme stretch. Regardless of how deep you get your fingers into your toes, create a squeeze on the ball of the foot, creating separation of the metatarsals. Begin to move the foot back and forth, creating a big stretch. You will continue this anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds. Using the fingertips, we will begin working the top of the foot. Bend the toes up, and press your fingers between the toes up the foot toward the ankle. This will create greater relaxation of the muscles that hold the toes together. Repeat this process six to seven times, then return to the pivoting motion back and forth on the ball of the foot. 